Has anybody told you that the downswing is just the backswing in reverse? Well, unfortunately, if they have, I'm here to tell you that that is wrong. They are completely different. Today, we're talking about the delivery position, and we're gonna show you how that completely differs from the backswing, and more importantly, what you need to focus on in order to hit better shots when you're playing. So once again, I am here at the Forest of Arden, out on the Arden course, talking about the delivery position in the downswing, how it's a little bit different to the backswing, and more importantly, some checkpoints that you can use if you're videoing your goal swing during practice. So in today's lesson, you are going to learn about where and how the club face needs to be positioned in order to give you the best results. You're also going to learn how the trail arm needs to be positioned in order to help you with strike and distance. And you're also going to learn a little bit about where the golf club shaft should be relative to your target line to help you hit the ball flight that you desire. Just before we get into that, if you're new here, you're not a subscriber, I would absolutely love you to do that. There is a clickable link down below or one at the end of the video. It is absolutely free. You'll just get notified each time I upload a video and it means you won't miss any of the content. So let's get straight into it. Delivery position, what is it? Well, it is basically the position in the downswing when the golf club reaches around about level with the ground. So it's here. And as you can imagine, from there to the ball is an incredibly short space of time. We don't really have a lot of time to think about it. And so it's quite important we get things organized fairly early in the downswing. That's what we're going to cover today. Now, this video is more going to be for those golfers who potentially will capture their golf swing on camera. Because as you can imagine, we can't really see what's happening at this point. We're looking at the ball. The downswing's over in pretty short space of time. So this is more for, I say, if you're videoing your golf swing. So first of all, let's talk about the trail arm and how that might be different in delivery to what it might be like in the takeaway. So if I take my starting position here, my, tra my trail arm is relatively straight. There's gonna be a tiny little bit of bend in it, but that's relatively straight. Now, if I was to try and move into my delivery position, I'm gonna add some reset. I'm going to add some forearm rotation to the right. My trail arm is now in a very, very different position. From that down the line camera, you'll notice that there's a lot more bend in it. And you'll notice from the face on that the inside of the elbow is very much facing towards you as you're looking at it. At setup, it was a little bit more like this, hanging straight down. In that delivery position, it was, we had that wrist set, rotation, and the elbow was tucked in. So one of the checkpoints I really want you to have at this delivery position there is, is there is no daylight between your trail elbow and your right side. Now you can see clearly that there is no, my right side is actually outside my elbow. Many of you, however, will find that when you video your golf swing, as you come to this last parallel, that right arm may well be extremely far away from your right side and you've got a big gap through there. What this is really going to mean is it's, it's gonna be very difficult for you to hit the ground target side of the ball. It's going to be very difficult for you to apply the desired amount of speed to the golf club to hit the ball as far as you'd like. And you're also gonna find it very difficult to control the club's loft, which is something that the best players all do. So when we're thinking about hitting the ground target side of the ball, controlling the loft and delivering speed, the trail arm is really, really important when it comes to that. If I have a poor trail arm movement, it's gonna be very, very difficult. I'm gonna hit those shots that we really don't want, the weak shots, the poor strikes, the high shots, the short shots. But if we can start to get that trail arm moving down into a great delivery position where the inside of the elbow is facing away from me and I feel like the inside of the elbow is ahead of my hand and there's a little bit of bend in my arm, that's a great feeling for you to help you do those things that we just mentioned. So the first thing we're gonna really get you to work on is that trail arm. Initially, let's get rid of the golf club. Much easier to do this without the golf club. This is a new thing for you. Even take away the lead arm move yourself up to the top and just rehearse this position. Inside of the elbow is leading the hand, inside of the elbow is facing the camera, and there's a little bit of bend in that trail arm looking from the down the line view. Those are the key things that I'm looking for in that trail arm position. Now let's talk a little bit about the club face. If the club face is out of position at this point, we really don't have a lot of time to do a huge amount about it. So an open club face at this point, very good chance the ball's gonna be going off to the right. Closed club face is going to be going to the left unless we can kind of skew the path a little bit to try and make that work. So what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the club face to be probably turned down by a very, very small amount. 
So this would be an absolute vertical club face. We're looking for it to be turned down by a small amount. Um, a pretty good guide would be somewhere between vertical and the amount that you're tipped over the golf ball. And it will depend on each golfer. It will depend a little bit on the shape that you hit. And it will depend a little bit on the path that you have. If you have a path which is to the left, an open face isn't too bad. A path to the right, a face that is slightly closed might work. But we're looking for these guidelines. And more importantly, we're trying to avoid anything which is extremely open or extremely closed, because those are the ones that are really going to give you the, the errant shots. So you'll notice that for me to achieve that, I have to have a lead wrist, which is very flat, and I have to have a trail wrist, which is very bent. Unfortunately, it's very common to see that reversed. So often we see the lead wrist is bent, the trail wrist is flat, and that results in a club face which is way too open. Now, as we've already said, we're gonna really struggle to change that club face. So those golfers tend to release the club early, or they tend to hit the ball off to the right, or they tend to hit the slices with the drivers. They very rarely hit the goal shots they really want with the compression, the distance they want. So we can now start to link that trail arm in position to a club face which is in position. So now we're starting to get a great trail arm and a great club face and they're matched. The final thing we're gonna to get to think of in this video or look at in your goal swing is where is that club shaft relative to your target line? So the target line is a line directly from your ball to your target. In this case, it's the flag in the distance. So what I'd be looking for is for my club shaft to be around about parallel to that line. Similar to what we said with the club face, we're not overly concerned if we're slightly one way or slightly the other way, but we are trying to avoid the extremes. The extremes are where we start to get the paths going extremely left, extremely right, and we start to get curve on the golf ball that's unwanted. So we're looking for a great trail arm position a club face which is under control, and a club shaft which is about parallel to my target line. What does that tell me about my golf swing? Well, it tells me that my path is going to be close to neutral. That's really good for when I hit straight shots. It tells me that my club face is fairly neutral. Again, that's great if you want to hit straight shots. And my trail arm is really going to help me strike the ball well with the right loft and the right speed. Now, there's not really a lot more that we want to do with the golf ball. Hit it straight, hit it far, and strike it well. So the delivery position is really, really important. And if you are struggling with your golf game, whether that be direction or strike, if you video it, slow it down and stop it at this point, I almost guarantee there'll be something in there which doesn't look quite right based on this video, and you can start to take some steps to improve those parts of your swing. Right, there's a lot of talking in there, so let's go ahead and hit one. I've got a five iron into this 14th hole. I've already hit one just, and I don't think this is enough club, so uh, I'm not gonna try and hit it hard. I'm just gonna try and hit a normal shot and accept that it's gonna land a little short. And if that was the right club, that would have been pretty good because it's right on it. So, delivery position, really important. If you can work on it, improve it. It is hard because there's a lot of speed at that part of the goal swing, but it can give you some really, really good results next time you play. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Usual stuff is down below. Comments box, like button, all that kind of stuff. And that subscribe link is over here. Give that a click. We'd love to you to be part of my channel and we can help you play some better golf this year. Thanks for watching.